Located midway between the east and west coast, air traffic flying into, out of, and over North Texas makes it very busy airspace. American Airlines is headquartered at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, and Southwest Airlines is headquartered at Dallas Love Field. The close proximity of those two busy airports adds up to very congested skies. We have seven runways at DFW International Airport, so from an airfield perspective, we have great capacity and great efficiency. What NextGen will do is enable the airspace efficiency to now match the airfield efficiency, and that's a win for everybody. That's a win for the airlines, the airport, and the community. By moving from ground-based navigation to satellite navigation, we can create the direct paths that open the roads and ease that congestion. Go to a map and wipe it clean. Take your airspace and wipe it clean. Take off all the existing nav aids, vortex, fixes that you currently know and use today and draw what it would really look like. You know, draw what you think in your head would make it easy for everybody. And uh, when I started doing that, when I started thinking about how, how do we run airplanes today and what do we do every day on a constant basis? Or do we turn aircraft, uh, you know, unnecessarily? What would it look like where I'm trying to turn everybody to if the line was already there? So uh, it actually ended up becoming an easier concept than what we thought is we just took the track data of what we do today and then we drew lines down that. Metroplex is really no more complicated uh, than that. We try to find the best routings. Uh, that's where we built the roads. That's where we built the highways basically is to, is to follow the most optimum routings. Uh, we need to operate efficiently. Uh, we need to operate as a good neighbor to the communities that we serve. Um, this. The process of airspace redesign, Metroplex, uh, affords us an opportunity to do that in a collaborative setting. The Metroplex team in North Texas made history by turning on 80 new procedures in a single day. No longer constrained by ground-based navigation, the team was able to create direct paths to the airports that are only eight miles apart. We created more direct routes to the airport but for the system to really be efficient, we need to manage the flow of aircraft into the airspace. Small changes to the speed and direction hundreds of miles from its destination is more efficient than arriving to a traffic jam that ends up with aircraft circling the airport. With maybe a small speed adjustment out 250 or 300 miles out and a five, course, a five degree off course vector at 150 miles out, just for a couple of minutes then starts to make everything fall in line. And uh, that technology with ERAM our computer's able to share that between many more facilities than what we were able to um, with our host system. And so all of our work is kind of moving further away from the airport. And so maybe we do more things for Memphis from, or Albuquerque from what we do here, and then the people in Memphis and Albuquerque are doing a little bit more for us feeding DFW or love. When we work together to solve the problems of traffic and congestion in busy metropolitan areas, we can save fuel, reduce carbon emissions, and increase on-time arrivals and departures. Partnering with the aviation industry, the FAA and NextGen are creating a healthy and sustainable national airspace system.